The West Coast reloads. California's next storm, it's a little bit ahead schedule. We're looking at late Saturday night, and the rain will stick around for days, which doubles down, triples down on the flood threat. Right now, the risk is very high several days out. We do get a break the rest of today and Saturday before this next storm comes in, but there is the potential for up to eight inches of life-threatening rain. Los Angeles has already had record rain this week, two and a half inches at LAX. San Diego had record rain just over an inch at Brownfield. Uh, numerous swift water rescues went on during the week. We've really been at the tipping point. Uh, it goes without saying that San Diego had a monster flood event 10 days ago, which led to a lot of vulnerability. And here we go again. All this moisture has ended up in the form of snow in the North Sierra. So they have a lot of moisture there already two feet and that will come in. Here we go. Second round, both Sunday and Monday in a level three, very likely flood threat. Um, when you see high confidence like this several days out, Bob, that lets you know that there's a high potential that this follows through. Yeah, all three of the National Weather Service from San Francisco down through L.A. and to San mm -hmm. Diego, all calling this one of the strongest atmospheric river of the season so far. And that starts tomorrow night and it ends up on Monday. I mean, when you look at why it's so threatening, rain, how could that be dangerous? How's that life threatening? It is because we've already had storms, so we're at the tipping point. Yeah. But a lot of bodies of water are running high. We're softened up with the soil. I yeah. Mean, can't and really hold a lot. That, that means that when you soften up the soil, a couple of things can happen. One, you can have debris slides, but you can also have trees come down real easily. Good point. So anything you can do to prepare yourself, your family in SoCal, anywhere from so central and southern coastline, inland and in the mountain ranges, be prepared. Be ready for the power outages. Be on alert knowing if you have vulnerable places and listen to the voluntary evacuations. Uh, they might start evacuating people before this even starts to rain, which would be either late tonight or tomorrow morning. So the rain starts tomorrow afternoon, and it's not going to let up until really Monday as it slides right down from L.A., points in Conception up to the north, down through L.A., and stretches down through San Diego, really, by Monday. Yeah, multiple days of this. Wouldn't be surprised if we even see another day tacked on to the backside of it. But we've had record rainfall of one to two and a half inches, right? We could see at least a doubling down, if not a tripling of the amount of moisture come in on top of already vulnerable spots. So that is why there's such a high concern. You also have the I-5, the grapevine, which will take you up into the higher elevations. That will see a lowering of the snow levels. And so there's a combination factor there, too, where we'll see lower snow levels and the potential for really some decent accumulation for the South Sierra. You can see it. It's really middle part of the coastline down through Southern California. It's going to get the heaviest rain. If you live around the Bay Area, Santa Cruz Mountains, you're still going to get about two to three inches of rain. But the wind is going to be a factor there also. So they posted high wind warnings, high wind advisories for 60 mile per hour wind gusts coming in by real, late tonight through tomorrow morning. So you can see the winds right here and the rainfall amount. San Francisco, two to three inches of rain is what we're going for, even downtown by the airport also. Trying to catch a flight tomorrow, Amy, to San Francisco down through L.A., it's going to be a mess. Anticipate delays or just outright cancellations. They've had some very slow-going uh, travel with the airports this right. week, and I think we could see a repetition of that over the weekend into early next week. And look at the rain goes all the way up through Oakland. You're talking about two to three inches. So even this, you would look at this, you're like, oh, my goodness. I mean, it's, it's a heck of a lot of rain for middle parts of California. It is. But south of here, we've got that frontal boundary. It's right between here and Point Conception. That's who's going to get just the training event of storms coming through. 10 to 15 inches of rain is a possibility. And that's Ooh. the high end. 40 to 50% chance that happens. But still, that is a lot of rain in just about two, two and a half days. Yeah, this is going to be a, a definitely a headline maker over the weekend. We'll be following here at Fox Weather. We have coverage all weekend long. So yeah. make sure you I'll check that out. Yep.